Put new duds in your washing machine. Finest duds you've ever seen. Bigger news now when you sing. D-U-Z does everything. The new does brings you The Guiding Light, created by Erna Phillips. Come in, Bill. Maida, where in the world have you been all afternoon? I, I phoned you from Hollywood not more than half an hour ago. Oh? Well, I just got home myself. I hope you weren't worried about me. Well, no, I wasn't exactly worried, but... But what? Oh, nothing. Did you phone Bertha? Well, sure I phoned Bertha. I thought you'd planned on staying at Papa's, and Bert told me you left shortly after I did this morning. Yes, that's right. I did some shopping, had a bite of lunch, took in a movie, and here I am. <laughs> had your housekeeper returned? No, I expect her back sometime this evening. Oh. Well, that's good. Uh, Ted and Chucky will be home this evening, too. Ted and Chucky? Mm-hmm. You mean Ted... Oh, wait a minute. Well, he tried to reach you here. He couldn't get any answer. Called me at the office and asked me to see that you got the message. Now you feel better. I won't feel better until I see Chucky. Until I can touch him. Oh, Maida. You're completely out of patience with me, Bill, aren't no, you? No, but I'm completely out of patience with that imagination of yours. Honey, you could have knocked me over last evening when you asked Trudy if she'd mind if you stayed overnight. Well, I shouldn't have stayed. But I didn't want to come back here alone. And I couldn't ask you to spend another night here with me. Bill, I didn't say anything to the folks, but... The night before last, I spent with the Brandons. What? Yes. Look, Maida, you, you'd better get yourself under control. I'll be all right just as soon as Chucky gets home. I'm sure I'll be all right. You know, it's strange. What? When I got out of the movie, I was debating with myself whether to have dinner out or whether to come home. Mm -hmm. Before I knew it, I was in a cab on my way back here. I must have had some sort of a feeling that Ted and Chucky would be home tonight. Oh, there you go again. Maida, who do you think you are? A crystal gazer who claims to foretell the future? Honey, no one can do that. Bill, I know that, but I do believe there's something called intuition. Woman's intuition or... Or should I say mother's intuition? Well, it worked out this time, didn't it? But I hope you realize that you were only imagining things. Have it your way, Bill. Mita. Hmm? Did, uh... Did you and Trudy have an argument again last night? It wasn't an argument. No. Oh. Trudy had very little to say. I had a great deal to tell her. I only hope that half of what I said made an impression. But just what did you say to her? Trudy's had a false idea that I'm the reason she and Ross Bowling aren't married. I tried to point out to her Anybody that... Anybody home? Chucky. Come along, son. Oh, Chucky, darling. Oh, darling. A small boy stands in embarrassment at his mother's display of emotion. We'll learn more about this in a moment. For white, white washes without red hands, I've gone back to Does. Yes, for white, white washes without red hands, the swing is back to Does. Does does everything in your wash and does right by your hands. I didn't think about my hands when I started experimenting with some of those no-rinse chemicals, but my hands couldn't take it. So now I'm back to Does. Does gives me white, white washes without red hands. Is a pair of red hands the price you're paying for doing your wash? Then use Does next wash day and inspect your wash carefully. Have you ever seen such dazzling whiteness, such thorough cleanliness, such brilliant colors? Have you ever seen all this with such wonderful treatment for your hands? Does can promise this because of the way Does is made. Only does of all leading wash day products contain such great quantities of real soap. 
extra rich soap combined with two modern detergents. Only does contains these quantities of rich, real soap balanced with two modern detergents. That's why does gets your clothes so wonderfully clean and white, while it gives extra safety for colors and almost toilet soap mildness for hands. That's truly why does does everything and does right by your hands. Get does today. You'll say it too. For white, white washes without red hands, I've gone back to does. Chucky. Oh, Chucky, you're home. Of course we're home. Hello there, Bill. This is the fire. But Chucky, please say something, please. Good heavens, Mater, you're frightening the boy. Hello, Mother. Oh, darling. Darling, I'm so glad you're home. You're hurting me. I'm sorry, Chucky. Uh, have a nice trip, Ted. Very. We did enjoy ourselves, didn't we, young man? Yes, Dad. Come along, dear. Let's wash up, shall we? And then Mother will prepare something to eat. Oh, Chucky, I'll see that you have something extra special. I'm so happy that you're home. Camping was fun. I had a good time. I'm glad to hear that. Bill, you'll excuse us, won't you? Oh, of course, Maida. I'll have to be running along shortly anyway. Uh, sit down for a few minutes, Bill. Come along, darling, and tell me everything you did. Well, we did lots of things. Dad taught me how to cook and everything. Uh, what uh, made you uh, decide to come home so soon, Ted? Uh, children reach a saturation point, you know. Mm-hmm. I felt Chucky had about all he could enjoy for one trip. I didn't want it to become tiresome for him. Thought it best to return while he was still enjoying himself. I see. How are things at the office? Oh, 100%. Good. I suppose you're wondering why I'm here this time of day. The thought had crossed my mind, yes. Well, I uh, tried to reach Mater all afternoon after you phoned. Well, it wasn't too important that you get in touch with her. Oh, I realize that. I mean from your viewpoint, but... Well, I was a little worried about her. Worried? Why, Bill? Well, this is going to sound as stupid as the Dickens. It doesn't even exactly make sense to me, but nevertheless, it's true. I wouldn't want you to say anything to Maida. Go on. From the time you and Chucky left for your trip, Maida hasn't been herself, Ted. She certainly wasn't herself a few moments ago. When Chucky and I arrived, seldom, if ever, have I seen her display so much emotion. Chucky was actually embarrassed. So was I. Oh, look, Ted, she's a mother. This is the first time Chucky's been away from her. She was worried about him. Worried about him? For heaven's sake, old chap. That is a bit stupid. Doesn't she realize that I'm perfectly capable of looking after my son? The fact remains that she's had the jitters. I've never known my sister to be on the verge of such hysteria, such unreasonable hysteria. A few nights ago, around midnight, she phoned the house. And if ever I heard fear in anyone's voice, I heard it in hers. I don't have to tell you, Ted, that she's the sort of person who's never been afraid of anything. No, you don't have to tell me. Well, anyway, I hopped in a cab and came over here. You what? She asked me to. She'd had some sort of a nightmare about Chucky. Now, what you're saying is almost unbelievable. That's what I keep telling myself, but I, I have eyes and I have ears. Took me quite a while to calm her down to try to to explain her dream to her. I was grabbing at straws, Ted. Anyway, it ended up in my staying here for the night. Last night she stayed in Selby Flats. At your home? Mm-hmm. She asked Trudy if she could share a room with her. Now, does that sound like Mater to you? No, I must confess it does not. There's this about your sister, Bill. There's no accounting for a great many of her actions. I'm never quite sure in my own mind if they are planned or impulsive. What do you mean by that? Surely you can't have forgotten that you asked me not to take the camping trip with Chucky. No, I haven't forgotten. You also made mention of the fact that Nater might be planning to leave me. Well, what has that to do with this absolute torture she's been going through while Chucky and you were gone? Perhaps everything. Perhaps nothing. I'm not prepared to say at this time. Now, wait a minute. You you mean you think she's putting on an act? I don't know. But 
You and I both agree that her actions are entirely out of keeping with what we know of Mater. I wouldn't begin to try to explain the workings of her mind. All right. All right. Before you jump to any conclusions, Ted, there's something you should know. The morning after I spent the night here, Mater and I had a long talk about you and her and Chucky. Yes? She promised me and she promised herself that she wouldn't do anything impulsive. I think she's going to actually try to work out this marriage of yours. Is that what she told you? That's what she promised me. I tried to point out to her that for her sake, as well as for Chucky and yours, it was the only thing for her to do. I think perhaps she realizes, Bill, it's the only thing she can do under the circumstances. Well, what do you mean by that? Mater could leave me if she wanted to. I think she knows that she has no grounds for a divorce, and she realizes that she can't take the boy away from him. On the other hand, I also am aware of the fact that if she definitely made up her mind to do something impulsive, as you say, no one, nothing could stop her. Except Chucky. Possibly. Yeah. Well, take what I've told you for what it's worth. I, I mean, made his plan as she expressed it to me, but there is one thing, Ted, I do want you to believe, and it hasn't a thing to do with logic or reasoning. Maida put in a terrible time while Chucky was away. She was like a person tortured, afraid that any time, any minute, she'd have some word that something had happened to Chucky. That's difficult to believe. I've never said anything before, Ted, but I'm going to say it now. Try to be a little gentle with her, will you? A little more understanding. I think if you gave her half a chance, everything might work out. Give her half a chance. Believe me, Bill, I'll give her every chance. Here's America's newest wash day promise from the one and only Does. White, white washes without red hands. Yes, Does gives you white, white washes without red hands. Are your hands suffering from using those no-rinse chemicals? Then see why women everywhere are going back to Does. Just accept this challenge. Change to Does next wash day. Then inspect your clothes carefully. Have you ever seen such dazzling whiteness? Such thorough cleanliness, such brilliant colors. Have you ever seen all this with such wonderful treatment for your hands? Does can promise this because of the way Does is made. Only Does of all leading wash day products contain such great quantities of real soap, extra rich soap, combined with two modern detergents. That's why Does gets your clothes so wonderfully clean and white while it gives extra safety for colors and almost toilet soap mildness to hands. Does, does everything. So for white, white washes without red hands, get does today. A nightmare repeated in the next dramatic episode of The Guiding Light with Joan Allison and Lyle Sudrow. Brought to you by the new does. Put new dust in your washing machine. C-U-Z does everything. This is Clayton Collier wishing you good day and good dozing for Procter & Gamble, the makers of the new does.